Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut, and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. Last time, we talked about how time passes and how everything that begins to exist has a cause. This time, I thought I'd apply these new principles to the universe and see where that takes us. So, what does this say about the universe? Well, it means that there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that the universe was created by something else, something that didn't have a beginning and therefore didn't need a cause. The second possibility is similar, that the universe itself didn't have a beginning and therefore didn't need a cause. Both of these possibilities hinge on the idea of eternity, an infinite state of being which doesn't require causes or prerequisites because it doesn't require time. Because of this, I think the best way to settle the question is by figuring out whether the universe is eternal or not. Did it always exist? Were there an infinite number of moments before the one we're in now? The answer... no. The universe isn't eternal, it just wouldn't make sense. Let's look at this logically. When something is infinite, that means that no matter how much you take away from it, there's always more remaining. So if something has an infinite amount of time, it's obvious that however much time you pass through, there's always more remaining. Now, if there's an infinite amount of time in the past, then no matter how much time passes, there would always be more to go. Here's the problem. Suppose there was an infinite amount of time in the past, and you start out in the past while I'm waiting for you in the present. If you travel toward me at three quadrillion times the normal rate of time, how long will it take you to get to me? The truth is, you'll never get to me, because no matter how much time passes, there's always more to go. If the past were really composed of an infinite number of moments, we would never have arrived at this moment. That's a logical proof that the universe hasn't been around forever, but on top of that, we now have scientific proof, too. A number of scientists, such as Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and more recently, discoveries made by the Hubble Space Telescope, have confirmed not only that the light of the universe is only a certain age, but that the universe is in continual expansion. If the past were infinite, that expansion would have finished already. Therefore, we can conclude that the universe is not infinite in time, and therefore, the universe was created by something else. Something other something eternal. One last question remains to be answered about the universe's origins. How old is it? Well, as I said last time, measuring time is the domain of science, since time is measurable using the scientific method. Unfortunately, we don't have a precise age for the universe, even using the methods I was just describing, but we can draw some pretty good estimates. Right now, most scientists agree that the universe is somewhere between 13.5 to 14 billion years old. That's further back than I can remember. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.